if you could give yourself one piece of advice when you first began uh, your personal training career and and all of that, what would it be? Listen, <laughs> listen more. I um, I think early on I was very much. Um, I have a lot of ideas and I was very much leaning towards the the faker side because I knew how important it was to provide for my family and make money so I had to find a way to make it happen and make it go and so I would just push and push and push towards my bosses towards my coworkers, towards my clients to other people I just trying um, towards my wife <laughs> so that hurts relationships when, mm -hmm. you, when you're just pushing and pushing and you're not actually sitting there and listening and learning yeah. and finding out what it is that that's a pretty broad piece of advice but if you can really listen and that's the that's really the, the, the essence of that first step do they know that I care um, if you can walk away from a situation and someone says, man, that person is a really is really interested in me. That, per, that, that trainer, Ashley, was just, she was really, she listened to me, she cared about me. It's, it's because you took the time to sit there and listen. And we think we need to prove how good we are and we need to prove how much we know and how great of a trainer we are, who we've worked with and all this great stuff about us, all the certifications we have. But the person that gets the client is a person that will sit there and listen and take in and just learn about them. And that person that's your, your potential client, they're gonna feel loved, they're gonna feel cared for, they're gonna trust you with anything, and this whole process just takes off from there.